Welcome to episode one of the Celeste Stacy podcast show. I'm your host, Celeste Stacy. Today is Monday, February 14th, 2022, Valentine's Day. So does anyone have anything special planned for Valentine's Day? Comment down below in the comment section or shoot me an email. Okay, so let's get into the show. I uh, am an author and I've written four books and published, self-published four books on Amazon. And recently I noticed one of the books, book two of SAI, Secret Agents of the Illuminati, is now being carried on Walmart's website. So that is great news for me. In addition to the books on Amazon, I have ebooks on Amazon, paperbacks, and audio books. Now, additional to being listed on Amazon, my audio books are listed on Findaway Voices, which is an aggregate which disperses my audio books to like 42 different other online platforms. So, that is that, as they say. Here, let me play a clip of one of my audiobooks. Prologue In Budapest, the Frenchman is at a cafe enjoying a hot cup of coffee while reading the newspaper, when a dark and mysterious man sits down abruptly. Without looking up from his paper, the Frenchman greets him. Morning, doctor. How long has it been? Dr. Death exclaims with a smirk. Hmm, 1945. The Frenchman nods in agreement and speaks. Not really pleased with your handiwork on Jack. Dr. Death replies. Oh, come now. Mm, the Medusa curse saved his life and enhanced him mm, a bit. <laughs> he chuckles. Is a hideous wretch, the Frenchman exclaims. He continues in a calmer tone. <clears throat> but why the pleasure of this meeting? Special operation coming down the pike. Been told the awards banquet for the SAI will be held planet side. The doctor informs the Frenchman. The Frenchman listens, then voices his opinion on the matter. You know, maybe we should cut our losses with these girls. And maybe just work on our criminal enterprises to make some money. I've come to realize that with revenge, you have to dig two graves. One for your enemy. And to want for yourself. Dr. Death sits for a minute, in silence, taking in what he just heard. Then, he reasons. Hmm. It's more than simple revenge. We are fighting for control of our people. And everything is at stake. Now, once we go back to our home world, we need to be in control of the council. Right now, we already control three members. The Frenchman fed up on the matter. Bah! Time to move on. We lost our chance back in 1865. In the fair attraction of the SAI. He sits back, crosses his legs, and sips his coffee. Dr. Death, ready to lose his temper with his fellow henchman, asks impatiently, Look, are you in or not? Or should I tell Jack you'd rather not help me? The Frenchman simply states, This is the last time. And if we fail, I'm out. And a free agent. Got it? The doctor nods, and they both go their own ways in Budapest. Across the world, in a super-secret spy agency, in the private study of the leader of the crack spy team known as the SAI, the director of said team is staring into the flames of the fireplace. She sprinkles gold and other special metal particles onto the flames. Her eyes flip black, and soon the room is filled with a disembodied voice emanating from the flames. It speaks a prophecy. Founder's blood will be spilled. An old leader will topple. Knights of the Veil vale will ride on earth as the blood moon shines. Monsters from Hades will roam free. The living will perish. All of creation is in peril. 
the blood of the Forsaken will climb with power, envisioning a dark terrace with minimal hours. All that is lost from Hades will be reclaimed. In the effortless visage, the monsters will no longer be tamed. The leader must choose. She must sacrifice herself to save creation. The director stares at the fireplace, rubbing the smoke from her eyes and ponders the meaning of it all. Minutes later, a commotion can be heard and voices turn angry. She exits her study to see what is going on with her angels. Welcome back to the show. What do you guys think? That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was the prologue from audiobook number three of SAI, Secret Agents of the Illuminati. Now that one's more on the horror romance, romance, horror romance, there I can say it. And uh, yeah, I was really excited about that book. So yeah, um, you can check out the books on Amazon. Um, more of the books will be on Walmart's website. And soon the books will be available in the U.S. libraries as well as in the school libraries. And on a high note, I think it will end the show at there. Now, tune in next time and I'll play another clip from one of my other books. I'm going to do random clips from all four books. Um, I thank, the, thank you for tuning in. And uh, please subscribe to the show and share it and let your friends and family know about it. Now, my email is celestacy67 at gmail. If you want to shoot me some you know, questions or comments in private, um, I'm open for suggestions on what to do for this show. It's totally brand new. And, uh, yeah. Happy Valentine's. Uh, let me know what you guys are, what you're doing for your Valentine's Day. Um, anything special? Nothing? Just you know, just shoot me a letter. So, this has been the Celeste Stacy podcast show, episode one, and I'm the host, uh, Celeste Stacy. Thank you, and have a good night. <laughs>